All right, uh, Field McConnell. Good morning, Your Honor. We're on Zoom. Howard Sohn on his behalf, and he is present on Zoom uh, this morning. All right, good morning, Mr. Sohn. Good morning, Judge. We're here on a motion for early termination of probation. I did leave a copy or send a copy to your chambers. I'm not sure if Your Honor had a chance to review it, but briefly, the, um, the case was resolved almost two years ago. Mr. McConnell was placed on two years probation to two counts of a misdemeanor charge of violating an injunction. The victim in this case, Ms. Picasio, is present on the Zoom call. Mr. McConnell completed the first year of probation and is now six months into the second uh, 12 month period. So he's completed basically 18 months of the total 24 months probation. I've spoken to Ms. Picasio, who's present, that has she has no objection to the termination. I've also emailed my client's probation officer in Wisconsin, Cara Lundequam. She's advised the court, and I represented in the motion that Mr. McConnell is in compliance with the terms of probation, has been following his, her instructions, and has nothing remaining to do while on probation. Uh, so we'll be asking the court for the early termination. Again, it's approved and supported by Ms. Picasio, as well as my client's probation officer in Wisconsin. Okay. I see Ms. Cummings has approached the podium with her badge on today. <laughs> all right, he's completed 76% uh, of his supervision. From all the special conditions I completed, all his monies are paid, or his support costs are paid in full. And he violates the publication of the Okay, so you're okay with the early termination. All right, Ms. Megwitz? State of Nome, Judge. All right, excellent. Okay. Mr. Can we just for the record um, uh, have the court address Ms. Picasio to see that she uh, verbally agrees with them? Yeah, I, I saw her nodding on Zoom, but Ms. Picasio, everything uh, Mr. Sohn said is uh, accurate? That's correct. I um, agree that he should be released from probation at this time. He had no prior arrest prior to this. Um, he spent you know, several months in jail, incarcerated. Um, he lives in Wisconsin. Uh, he any reprimands or violations were nominal, and they were as a result of bad information from a Wisconsin probation officer. He's avoided any new arrests, which would show a complete rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. And I think that the probation would continue to have a hardship on him because he's an elderly man, and he would like, I believe, to travel. I've kept in contact with his attorney, and I think this is going to be one of those very successful cases where um, probation has uh, done um, its work. Uh, Mr. McConnell, I understand, has given me a heartfelt apology, and uh, I believe that he's ready to go and live a productive life, as he always did prior to this mess. Um, so I agree and do not object to an early release of the probationary term. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. I uh... Uh, I appreciate the sentiment in which it's offered, and and um, uh, we like to get good outcomes here in this court. So uh, uh, thank you for your appearance and your time. Mr. McConnell, can you unmute yourself, please? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I'm unmuted. Okay. All right, sir. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grant this motion. Um, I'm uh, uh, I'm I'm very happy that uh, you have uh, turned things around and you've complied and uh, uh, it seem, seems that you've gotten gotten things together in your life and so uh, your probation is hereby terminated. Uh, I wish you the best, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. You're very welcome, Mr. Son. Thank you for that very concise uh, presentation. Um, and uh, you'll uh, submit an order for us. Did you already? I was going to ask. I would be happy to do that. I'll prepare it this afternoon, Your Honor, and send it to you. Okay, great. Thank Thanks you very much. Thank you very Smaller much. Excuse. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. You too.